Okay, so we're talking about the Jar 5 Dominator again. I know I never shut up about this damn gun, but there's a reason for that. I just love it. Even before the recent patch buffed its damage from 200 to 300 and increased the stagger, which honestly, I don't know who ever asked for either of these changes, but thank you so much, Arrowhead. Before those changes though, I already loved the gun and was already using it to shred pretty much everything fairly satisfactorily. However, since that patch, I gotta say, this weapon has gone from S tier to freaking God tier in my book. And I wanted to make this video to show you guys just how amazing it is and hopefully try to convince some of you to give it a try yourselves. But first, a word from our sponsor, Outplayed. Outplayed is a totally free Windows app that allows you to record, edit, and send clips to your friends right there in a single app. You don't need any of this stuff anymore. If you want, you can just set it to record your whole play session every time you jump in. Or you can tell it to clip only your absolute banger moments. And yes, it even works with Helldivers too. So pick up Outplayed now via the link on screen and in the video description. As I said, it's totally free. Okay, so the first change we're going to talk about is the damage. Now, this is, I don't think, the biggest change that was made, but we will start with it. As I mentioned before, this was increased from 200 to 300, which is a pretty significant 50% increase. And it brings the Dominator just behind the Breaker at 330, and a little bit ahead of the Just Nerfed Slugger at 250. And actually, this means that the Dominator is now the third highest damage dealing weapon in the game per shot, coming in behind the Punisher in first place and the Breaker in second. The result of this damage increase is maybe not super noticeable in most situations, because the Dominator is generally used for larger targets, so it really just means that those big boys will go down maybe one or two shots earlier. However, the biggest area that I noticed it in was the smaller targets like Warriors. If we take a look at the pre-buff Dominator one-shotting Warriors in the head, the Warriors stayed alive and kicking for like two seconds or so afterwards, which was enough time for them to run towards you and maybe even get a hit in. And so it meant that sometimes you had to spend two rounds to take them out just so they didn't get close to you. Whereas after the buff, they die pretty much instantly. So no longer do we need to spend two rounds on warriors to stop them dead in their tracks, now it takes just a single round. And as someone who loves to take heads off warriors with his dominator, I absolutely love this. Alright, so now to the most significant change, the stagger. In the patch notes, there was no indication as to how much this was increased, it just says increased stagger. However, I can tell you that the change here was incredibly important. So one of the biggest problems that I used to have with the Dominator when taking on units like the Bile Spewers is that whilst I could generally take them down fairly quickly with just a few shots to the head, if they did get in range and start spewing on me, there wasn't really much I could do to stop them other than to keep shooting and then kill them, or to dive out of the way. However, with this stagger increase, here's how that goes down now. As you can see here, a single shot to the spewer stops their attack, and I can safely sit back and blow their head off in peace. Additionally, the increased stagger means that the Dominator now significantly knocks back Brood Commanders, sending them way off into the distance, and can easily keep Stalkers at bay whilst we smash them in the face. Whereas before, there wasn't much knockback at all on either of those targets. The overall result of this increased stagger and increased DPS is basically that where before, using the Dominator up close was often a mad rush to DPS the enemy as quickly as possible to kill them and keep yourself out of danger, now it's a much more leisurely stroll through the corpses of your enemies type of affair. Most enemies can't even reach you because of the stagger, and then because of the increased DPS, the ones that do go down pretty damn quickly. And of course, all of this stuff also applies to bots. Devastators get staggered hard and are just totally unable to return fire. 
and walkers stumble all over the place and get taken down in just a few shots. Additionally, the Dominator is basically the perfect weapon for hitting those vulnerable automaton weak spots, and so really, it is pretty much the best possible anti-bot weapon. Get freaking wrecked, you glorified toasters. So it has to be said that unfortunately the Dominator still does have one giant drawback, and that is the weight. It still handles like a machine gun, and is therefore not a great weapon choice for fast moving targets like hunters. However, to remedy this problem, I highly recommend you take the advice that I gave in my recent video about how the Dominator is actually a support weapon, and pair it with a fast firing stratagem like the Stalwart. You will use the Stalwart to take out smaller, faster moving targets, and then whip out the Dominator to deal with the larger ones. If you use the Dominator in this way, I honestly think it's one of the best primary weapons in the game right now, because it means that you can basically handle any situation out there. And honestly, it's just freaking fun. Okay, so that's it for the main part of the video. Now to wrap up the video, I just want to go into a game and show you guys my Dominator loadout live. So we'll be playing against bugs on extreme difficulty and we'll just do like three or four minutes of gameplay where I'll talk you through what I'm doing while I'm playing. And uh, yeah, check out this awesome loadout. All right, here we go. So we got our first group here. Oh, nice. We got um, spewers. This will be a great showcase. All right, we'll just take out the hunter first. A few of the little guys. Another hunter here. Okay, they're spitting at us from afar. He's dead. Oh, he, there's a hunter on us. Hunter die. So I just want to show you guys the interrupt. So good. All right, interrupt. Interrupt. Another interrupt? Nope. Head come off. Dies immediately. Amazing. Interrupt. Interrupt. That's so good. Oh no. <laughs> Ran out of ammo. I'm gonna pull back. The interrupt's incredible, honestly. It's a total game changer. The, I, I feel like the, um, as I said in the video, like th this gun used to be sort of all about just DPSing them as quickly as possible. But now you don't have to do that. Now you can rely on on the interrupt and you know, you can just sort of, it's just much more relaxing. <laughs> so good. I'll take out the little guys with my stalwart. Bye bye bye, you're all dead. Okay, there's another one sniping us. Go around the back and wreck him. Wreck him in the butt. Where is he? Don't know. He's dead, and I mean the extra DPS is just very useful as well, obviously, it's great. Okay, no, no ammo. Uh, but I feel like the extra DPS wasn't that necessary, you know, it was sort of, I don't know, I feel like we didn't need it. Although that said, the, those spewers used to take a long time to kill, it was a bit ridiculous. And the, because of the low fire rate on this gun, yeah, it did take a little bit too long, so maybe it wasn't necessary to change, but I feel like they could have, they pro probably could have increased it less. Didn't need to increase it by as much as they did. All right, then we got some dudes here. Yeah, it's just so versatile. Um, you know, not to say it's perfect, but it is very good. I mean, and it's just fun to use as well. You just feel so capable and you, know, you just shred dudes. You can handle medium armor targets. You can handle the, the swarms with your stalwart. You know, this guy just cannot even get close to us. Whereas they used to charge at you. You know, and you couldn't stop them. Can we kill him? Yes. Usually miss them. Oh, he's calling? Yeah, he called. That's fine, we want more enemies to fight anyway. It's all good. Oh, you still have- how are you still alive? Bye bye head. See how they die instantly, like, it's just amazing. The brute commander's gonna charge us, is he? Oh. Come on, charge us, bro. Charge me. Smashed. Cannot get close to us. They used to charge through you, you know, and they, and then they just overrun you, and you'd have to dive out of the way. So it was just this hectic experience. Whereas now, oh, just smash them in the face. Can't get anywhere near me. And what's here? Okay, we got a brood commander. Nice. Smash him. Smash him. 
Okay, he's dead. Yep, he's dead. Okay, and then we got a lot of warriors. They just all go down really quickly. Boom, boom, boom. All dead. Hunter. Still what? Okay. Avoid him. Oh, we got another brood commander. He's dead, I think. Ow! How did he just strafed into me? Ah, I hate that guy. Look at him glitch. He's so glitchy, man. I will take him out with our... I'm just going to grenade all these guys. Get away from me, fatty. Take out this group. He's dead. Where is that? He's there. Oh, God. <laughs> He's dead, I think. Got this. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, there we go. There's our loadout. I just love it. So effective. <laughs> no downside, honestly. It's just it's perfect. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, as usual, like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if not. Subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. GG's. Easy mode, you're still alive, are you? Are you dead? Oh, he's alive? <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? Okay. Fair enough. He was asleep.